Today I'm just looking at a diesel and I was checking the fuel pressure and the operation of the diesel piezo injector and what I realized is it's the polarity is not reversed by the ECU because I was led to believe in a piezo injector the ECU will switch on the injector so it can spray and do its thing and then it will reverse the polarity so the one that was the power now becomes the negative the one that was the negative or the ground now becomes the power and that will allow the piezo to close it doesn't look like that's the case and why I'm saying that is because if I look at volts and not amps here I'm looking at volts so we have unlike a petrol where you would have 12 volts all the way across flat line and then the control side you would get uh, pulse to ground and whilst it's pulse to ground that's when the injector should be on well this is roughly showing what it looks like a little bit on an oscilloscope I'll show you an actual oscilloscope in a second but this was just to try and clear it up first so we get the pulse it doesn't stay on all the time 12 volts we get a pulsed voltage to work the piezo injector same as a diesel solenoid injector a pulsed voltage and every time the injector is not used so if we had just back probed on these two wires here and here like I was going to the oscilloscope every time that's pulsed um, the injectors pulse this will have a smaller ground a smaller waveform that's the ground one side's got power, the other side has a ground. That's the injector in use. Then it's got the other three. This is a four cylinder that I'm talking about here. The other three cylinders have their turn. Power, power, power all the way along. But you get the same image on the ground with these ones. And then we get when this injector that we're back probed on, when that's that one's turn to fire again, you get a small smaller sort of ground uh, it, it's not totally gone it's a very small thing so it's got some sort of almost like a um, background almost you can see a little bit of voltage but it's not it's just how they work so my point being if this was going to reverse the polarity like I've had people explain and I've read it in books that way or maybe I was misunderstanding it I would expect the only way it could do that is if we were to see this and then in between these where it's switching off we would have to have the smaller one and we would have to give it power that way so the power would come in and it's been used up so the ground is on that side you know that's the only way we're gonna switch these it's like if it wasn't an injector say we changed it for a light bulb even and I had a little light bulb that's lighting up and I've got power and a ground and that's going to the battery, see, or a fuse and that's on if it's a circuit that light bulb comes on now it's like if we were going to do it the other way we would have to give, we'd have to cut that circuit there and give that power there that's the battery and this side would have to go to ground that way we would have some control. If they were ECU controlled, we would have to flick the wires back into power ground like I'm showing here, which isn't what happens with a piezo injector. It's just switched on, you get the pulse, and then you get it when it's being used. You don't see the voltage, because that's the voltage going in. The injector right through the winding and back out the wire. Both sides are the same when it's not in use, but when this ECU grounds out the ground side to switch it on, then we're not going to see a ground. So every time the ECU wants that to fire, wants this injector to spray, we're not going to see power, voltage. I mean, we're not going to see voltage on the ground side when it's in use, but it never changes it so we don't see the voltage on what was the power side. They could switch over, it doesn't matter what colour I'm doing this in. We could have the black one would now be the power if it was being reversed by the ECU. And that never happens. Although I will admit that we do see a waveform. 
and the waveform does look a bit like so it would come along the amps goes up and then down and then goes up and down up cross down up crust down you know so it, it does look like that on the waveform but my point is it's not the ECU that's reversing the polarity it's just that works in a similar way to a solenoid a diesel solenoid injector from what I can see the waveform well the evidence is there it doesn't it just simply doesn't switch polarity what we're seeing in the voltage here is a character of the piezo crystals and not a result of the ECU control in it. And to me it's a bit like when you get one second I'll clean I'll clean this off and show you what it's a bit like. They were looking at an oscilloscope that would be just a regular one. If these were twelve volts and that was twelve volts for a petrol injector, right? I'm just showing you a wave that I'm thinking about this. Now if they're both at twelve, both wires and that was a petrol injector, it means it's not being operated, but if it was being operated, we'd lose that, and we'd gain where it's ground out to zero volts. We wouldn't have to change the polarity in this case, but what we get is a character of this. That's the injector on, injector off. What we see is a spike like that, yeah. And then it comes down. Let me move this because we also see. We get the spike, and this is what I'm talking about, a character of it. This is a character of the coil. The coil, uh, the height of the coil, the magnetic field. I'm talking about piezo strength, the uh, piezo character before. This is a solenoid character, and then it comes off. You see a little um, pencil hump. That we've heard about pencil humps, right? And that's the injector, and the way I see it is, when this is powered up, the coil gets power. And it lifts the needle in the injector so that it can spray, because it's got the coil of wires going over it. It can lift this needle up so it can spray the fuel out. And then when you take the power away, the spring will push that back down. And as that pintle is pushed down it's now working a little bit like a generator it's a little bit like that I'm not saying it is like that it's just it's creating a little bit of power and that's where we see that little bit of the movement is represented by a little bit of its generating its own power now I think that's what we're seeing with the piezo it's just generating its own so that it was like that goes across and goes like that amps amps and then the next injector on but it's not being reversed by the engine ECU which is the main thing that I want this video that's all it's about a little bit of a thought piezo injectors it's not the injector it's not the ECU that reverses the polarity I'm always thinking it doesn't reverse the polarity because that's when it's switched off anyway. It's a bit like that spike, the voltage spike on a petrol injector or a gasoline injector. That voltage spike, the pintle hump, that's a character of the pintle coming back down. I think that's just creating a little bit of its own energy. And I think this is what's happening here. But that is after the injector's in use. It's already finished. So if we saw amps, I mean the volts, it would be on, cross and down in that bit. And, and what we get is the volts, and that's amps, but the volt seems to line up with, as the volts is switched on, we get that way. And as the volts is switched off, we get that way. And when it's peaked out at the same Voltage at the top, where it's held in place, we get the flat line in the middle. But it's when this is switched off by the ECU, it cuts the ground, it doesn't need it, it takes that away, it's switched off. That's when we get the spike going down. And I think it's just a character of a piezo injector. The gold is the power, and the ground is on the green. So... 
as we get power, the amps goes one way, and as the power starts to drop, the amps is going the other way, but it's never switching around. It's never giving it the power on the green and a ground on the gold. It's just one way, it's just one side that's switching on, off, and the other side's pulsed to give it power for all of the injectors at the same time. They all pulse powered at the same time, but one of the injectors gets a ground, the one that needs to fire. But they all pulse at the same time, which is the gold. And the one that gets a ground doesn't, but we don't have, we don't ever have it, those wires switch around to send the volts the other way, to give you the amps effect going back down again. Which is quite interesting. Okay, what I want to show you is this waveform, how it goes one way and the other way. Come a bit closer so you can hear me. But you see how that's going one way the other way again? Now I've changed it from the amp clamp and I'm using this. So there's a pulse sensor, right? Similar thing here. And what I think that is, I'll, I'll just show you. I'm trying to explain it in a way that it might make sense. If I connect this one up, We'll, we'll remember that for now. I think that's just like a character of it's not volts going both ways, although the amps is flowing one way. It's um, kind of like you get a, a pencil hump on a, a regular injector. I think this one is just the uh, internal um, piezo crystal stack going back to the original um, spacing, the thickness. So if they um, expand when you run a power through one way uh, you know if you power it up, power and ground and they expand and you take the power away they contract is that what's happening here in the same way you know you can see it change the other way in the same way this one if I was to switch this on you get that pattern like that but as it goes back it goes one way, I'll do it again See, so it goes up one way and then down the other. But I'm only blowing them. That's sucking on this as well. See there and there. So I think that's just the characters. These crystals go back to the usual state, which is what I'm seeing here. Because what, why I'm doing this video is you hear people saying the injectors on a piezo, they open the injector and it stays open until the current's reversed and goes the other way. And that's all controlled by the ECU, but it doesn't look like the ECU's controlling it at all. It's just power that's pulsed on all the injectors, and one side is ground side control at a time on each injector, and it never switches. So I don't think the, com uh, the ECU, or the engine computer, is doing anything to reverse the current. I think the pattern is just a character of a piezo crystal, and it's just opening and then shuts like a solenoid. And, um, that's the only thing I can make sense out of this, and it's almost like a bit of a, a myth that it goes both ways. I can't see it doing that. The evidence isn't there in the voltage controlling it. So, if anybody's got a better way of explaining it, you know, I'm, I'm happy to read it in the comments, because it's one of those confusing things. Um, you could say it goes both ways because it just does, but then why is it not being controlled? Why is the amps going one way and the other? I don't think the computer's controlling it to do that, so now I'm not really believing how I thought it was. I'm questioning how I think they work, and I'm thinking now it just works almost like a solenoid, a regular solenoid. Yeah, you can see the amps going both way, but you can with this, but I wasn't pulling the diaphragm and sucking it back the other way. And I don't think it was going like flexing one way, then flexing the other, like bouncing like a trampoline. It may have been a little bit, but I, I think mostly it was just going back to where it was. It just seems to be a character, as uh, the crystals don't get power anymore. I, I, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting, though. That was my point of this. Is I'm just questioning something. And um, thanks for watching.